Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. Today we're going to be making foaming sugar scrub. Uh, I will be using Easter colors um, to keep the Easter theme going. Uh, to make our foaming sugar scrub, we're going to be using Crafter's Choice Foaming Bath Whip. This will be our base uh, for the sugar scrub. We will also be using um, Easter Colors by Nurture Soap. Um, I will be using Lemon Chiffon, which is a nice pastel yellow, Amaranth Pink, which is a nice pastel pink, and Sky Blue, which is a nice pastel blue. For the scent, I will be using Nurture's Garden Honey Bunny. Uh, Honey Bunny is a soft, fruity scent uh, with also a light scent of honey. Um, the fruits are like uh, citrusy and apple-y, um, but the honey comes through a lot stronger than the fruits. It's a very um, soft scent, which I like for, for this product. Um, it smells like uh, sweet sunshine, I would say. So I will be using this at uh, 3%. And uh, I will be using uh, regular sugar. This is organic sugar I purchased at the grocery store. I am using the same, the equal amount of uh, foaming bath whip to the sugar. And for the preservative, I will be using uh, Liquid Dermal Plus at 0.2%. The maximum is 0.5. I usually use 0.5. But in this case, I'm only using 0.2 because the foaming bath whip already comes with preservative, but this, it does not account for the water that may be um, included in the, when people are taking a bath. So come on, let's get started. Okay, so here I have added uh, 220 grams of the foaming bath whip. I'm going to start uh, by whipping this and this is um, also added at 48.8 percent. I'm only adding it at 48 percent because this will grow and double its size. Um, you don't want to whip it too much because then it'll deflate once you put it in the container. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and whip and I will mute you guys while I whip. Okay, now I'm going to be adding uh, 213 grams of sugar. Um, so we're going to add it slowly while we whip. Okay, now I will be adding the Honey Bunny fragrance, and I've also added the um, germal, Liquid Dermal Plus in here. Uh, so for Honey Bunny, I'm adding 13 grams, which is at um, 3%. And the Liquid Dermal Plus, like I said earlier, is at 0.2%, and this is 0.9 grams. So I'll go ahead and add it. Should we get it all in there? And I have to say it is pretty hard to do this with a hand mixer. So if you're going to be selling products or making a lot of this, um, a lot of these uh, foaming sugar scrubs, I recommend using a stand mixer. I just don't make that many and I'd rather use my 
KitchenAid for the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and mix it a little bit. And by adding this um, liquid, it's going to soften up the, the batter just a little bit. Or I'm hoping. My arms are trying to fall off. It's a good thing I'm ambidextrous so I can work with both arms. Okay, let's get to mixing again. Okay, now that everything is um, incorporated well in here, I'm going to split it in three different um, buckets because I will be adding the cutlers. I want to make it make sure it looks all eastery. I don't even know if that's a word, eastery. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball it. You know, I think I can only add it into two because I can leave one here, duh. But then, no, I'll add that into three because otherwise it's going to be harder to mix in a giant bowl. So let me go ahead and split these and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added the colors in. Put the mixer aside. I'm going to see how much I can um, incorporate the colors with a popsicle stick uh, because I don't want to mix the colors with the with the mixer. I may need to add a little bit more color. Which I was expecting. I want it to be like a nice pastel yellow. And I think I'm going to have to whip it and just run to the sink and wash it between colors. So we'll start it with the yellow since it's the lightest color. Okay, so I whipped it pretty thoroughly. Um, as you saw, I had to add a little bit more yellow, but yellow seems to be finicky like that. I don't see that happening with the other colors. So we're going to put this guy aside. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's like a nice pastel yellow. Okay, so now we're going to grab the blue and we'll see if we need to whip it or not. I don't think we do. I think just mixing it. Also, my hands starting to hurt from holding the, the mixer. I really love these popsicle sticks. I don't know if you all make cosmetics or not, but oh, they're very handy dandy. Yeah, I don't have to whip it. Look at how beautiful that looks. Nice pastel blue. Bring the blue, the pink. Hopefully we don't have to. No, I think it's just the yellow. So if you don't want to have, if you don't want to go through that, you can just do um, pink, blue, and maybe pastel green or purple and not do the yellow um, or just add a little bit more yellow okay so now I'm going to grab my uh, press and seal um, wrap and put, put it all in so I can distribute the colors and then put it into my piping bag so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have um, my press and seal glad um, 
paper and I'm going to, I think about this size because I want to roll it. So you cut it. You cut it and don't forget that you have to flip it over because this is the sticky side so that way it allows you to, to get to, to stick. Oh, there's wrinkles on here. It's already sticking. Okay. So what you want to do, this is my piping bag and this is the tip that I'm using. I never know what the tips are called. I'm not a baker, so oh, this is the tip that I'm using here. But it really doesn't matter what tip you use. Um, so you want to make sure, think about here. I probably did cut it a little <laughs> too big, but that's okay. So just make sure that you pipe about to here. I'm going to put this little stick here to about here. Oh, I don't want to cut it. Here, we'll put a little mark. Where you pipe about here. Do some of the whipping. <laughs> okay. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. So these, So I have to pipe right in this section here. Okay? And this is a sticky side up. So I'm just scraping my bowl. I'm scraping the sides to make sure that I loosen everything up. And I apologize if you can't see. It's kind of hard to do it when you're filming. Okay, so we use... Here... Oh, you don't need to use two bags. You get away with one. I don't use those professional bags. So that's why I'm a little hesitant on how much is going to fit in there. Um, I think the first bags that I purchased were from Michaels. And then I got the same ones online. So I'll, I'll put a link on where I got them. these sticks aside. Make sure we get this guys. And this is why the sticky part is important. It's for this part here. So if you want to make sure it sticks. And trust me, I've done this many times and um, I watched uh, Missouri Soap do this. I think it was for soap she was doing this. I don't remember. Um, but I was like, hey, that's a good idea. It was kind of nice when you learn from your other craft makers. If you haven't bought anything, Missouri Soaps actually sells her products and they're Amazing, I've actually bought a couple soaps from her. She makes a lot of goat milk soap. Okay. So, let's hope this works. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to grab our piping bag. And put this guy in there. Make sure this is really tight. I should have left more room on this side than the other side. Okay.
if I'm pulling the tip that I rolled firmly and I'm holding the piping back here and pulling this guy because um, otherwise your tip gets loose. You, I'm just going to use a rubber band for this because I just want to be safe. I don't want to make a hot mess. I think if I had a bigger bag it wouldn't be such a big issue but with this tiny bag maybe I will invest in a real piping bag. Okay so I have these four ounce Look at the wax paper, like all over the place here. This four ounce uh, plastic jars. Um, I got these at Wholesale Supply Plus. Um, I have sanitized them already. Uh, you spray 70% um, rubbing alcohol and you just let it air dry. Do not use anything higher or anything lower. You want 70% because 70% has enough water where it's going to take its time um, to sit there and to sanitize. Um, if you use like 99% or 91, 91 may work, but um, they just evaporate too fast, so it doesn't give the material time to sanitize. Okay, so let's go ahead and start piping. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut this guy here. I apologize. I'm I was going to say I'm left-handed, but I actually cut with my right hand. So, we're going to cut this guy here. And if I was just using one color, I wouldn't be doing all this mess. I would just put it directly into the, into the piping bag. But I'm using three colors. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Hold on, let me. There I go. There I go. Okay, so pull it back after you cut it. I apologize for not doing that. I'll put a little dollar there and start. I squeeze it in. This looks really pretty. The three colors. Okay, now I don't want to fill it up too much because I am adding A carrot that was bitten by a bunny. So if you can see I cut it right there and I used a, a soap cutter to cut that. So this is a melt and pour. You want to put it in there and then people can use it as a little soap. And it makes it an Easter one. Just wanted to make it real Eastery. Put a little dollar there and go on the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these and uh, put the little carrots on top. So I'll speed up the video.
And there we have it. You just made some foaming sugar scrub, Easter style. Thank you for watching.